Good morning, everybody. Really quick, this concept hit me square between the eyes. I just saw an article that uh, China, China Singles Day on Alibaba in 20 minutes sold more than Amazon's entire Prime Day. Now, why I'm calling this out is a lot of people that I talk to, a lot of small businesses, constantly are asking questions about challenges they're facing. And it's very rarely actual challenges to the business, it's perceived challenges. And these perceived challenges usually are at the local scale. So oftentimes, people are processing their business through the eyes of what they're used to. But when I saw this article that China's Alibaba sold more in 20 minutes, about $6 billion plus, on Singles Day, than Amazon did on entire Prime Day. This rocked my socks, and I, and I it suddenly thought about how many of people are getting caught into small-mindedness. Yes, we want to shop local. Yes, we want to buy local. But I think we also really need to change our perspective on how many markets are out there that are completely unheard of. Like how many people, how many people have actually know what Singles Day even is in China on November 11th? It's a holiday started in 1993, give or take, and it was all about celebrating singleness. And this has turned into the hugest buying day uh, for Chinese citizens. This reminds me of a Peter Diamandis talk that came out recently about the next four billion. It's taken since the day we started with computers to today to get the first four billion people on the internet. But the next four billion are gonna come in roughly by 2024, 2025. That's just a few years away. So the question is, are you planning your business? Are you asking yourself business questions that have to do with a, such a larger scale about markets that you don't even know exist like China's Singles Day. What if you had prepared an online product for China's Singles Day and enlisted with Alibaba? What if you had prepared an online service or training for somebody in that market? The same question needs to be asked of the next four billion. These are African people coming online. These are Indian people coming online. These are obscure countries coming online. And if you are caught up in the small mindedness of nitpicking what you perceive to be local competitors, yet you are missing out on huge markets that you don't even need to take entirely, you just need a small piece of the pie. I encourage you, expand your thinking to include what other markets are out there that, in the example of Alibaba Singles Day, are dwarfing things you might know, like Amazon. Get into other markets, expand your thinking, and quit nitpicking what you perceive to be your local competitors. They might take a sale here or a client there, but if you, if your business makes or breaks on those one or two sales your perceived local competitors are taking, you are thinking way too small, and that's risky for your business. Expand your mind. I don't mean just ditch the local paradigm, but I do mean start thinking there are markets and niches that you haven't even thought of yet that could be an entirely different vector for your small business and provide more security. So go check out that article about China Singles Day. It'll blow your mind 20 minutes, and they sold more than all day on Prime Day. It's mind-blowing. Have a great day, and I want to hear from you below what are some of the areas or markets that you're paying attention to or what are some markets you haven't even thought of yet that could uh, support your business that your competitors aren't even touching and maybe, uh, maybe write it anonymously so your competitors don't know. But again, don't get caught in that small-mindedness. Love you guys. Have a great day.